Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the Welsh Allen 24-hour blood pressure monitor. This film has been designed to show you what you get when you buy the unit, how to set the unit up for a patient test, how to download the results when the patient comes back to the surgery, and also some of the reports available in the CardioPerfect software. But first, let's look at the components. The ABPM unit comes with the unit itself, optional patient diary cards, Cardio Perfect software, which would need to be downloaded to your PC or laptop in order to perform the tests. Two cuffs, adult and large adult. A carrying case, a waist belt and shoulder strap. A USB to unit interface cable. And finally, you get four AA batteries, but you can also use rechargeables. Now most of the test preparation work can be done before the patient comes into the room. Take the lid from the back of the unit and place two AA batteries into position with a tape underneath them. Fold it back over and slide the lid back into position. And then connect your ABPM unit to the USB interface cable. The cable goes into the bottom of the port on the unit itself and then into the USB port on your PC or laptop. Now open the CardioPerfect software, and if the patient hasn't had a 24-hour test on our system before, click on Patient in the top left-hand corner. Fill their NHS number or other ID number in, their name, and if you want to, you can put the gender and the date of birth. Click OK and the patient's details are saved. But if the patient has had an ABP before, go into the Welsh Allen software, and using search, input either their surname or NHS ID number, click on go, and their details will appear in the database. And having highlighted their name, then click on the ABP icon at the top of the screen. The software communicates with the device and a box appears on screen which says new ambulatory blood pressure test. If the patient's details are correct, click OK and their details will be sent through the cable to the ABP unit. After that's been completed, the screen says the test is currently in progress on device at which point you can disconnect the cable from the unit and bring your patient in. When you're ready to fit the cuff to your patient, take the elasticated sleeve and slide it up the arm into position. And then wrap the cuff around the patient's arm until the Velcro fastens with the cuff tubing pointing towards the top. And take your ABPM unit and the unit tubing is attached to the cuff tubing. And to start the test, press the blue button on the front of the ABPM unit twice. The ABP takes a test reading, which you'll be able to see on the display. But after that, on the display, the patient will only see the time of day which it takes from the PC. Now when the unit first inflates the cuff, it'll go to 160 systolic. But if it gets a systolic reading below that, that's where it'll go to next time. If it needs to go above 160, it'll wait a few seconds and try again. Now this reading's taken okay. Your blood pressure's fine. After a few seconds, the display will show the time and the test is in progress. And at that point, you can put the unit into the pouch and worn by the patient using either the shoulder strap or the waist belt. It goes round the shoulders 
And as the patient is going to be wearing this for the next 24 hours, it's a good idea to remind them before they come in to have a shower and wear some loose fitting clothing. Now after 24 hours, the patient comes back again. And you can take the unit off them. Remove the cuff. Take the unit out of its pouch. Hold the blue button on the front down for approximately seven seconds or until the unit bleeps five times. Then you've switched the unit off. After that, you can download the results at your leisure. Now, one other important thing is that once you've taken the cuff off the patient, you must take the bladder out of the cuff like so, and then thoroughly wash the cuff before giving it to a new patient. You can do this in a washing machine or hand wash it. It can't be sprayed or just wiped. To start downloading the results from the unit to your software, plug the USB cable into your PC with the other end connected to your AVP unit and go in to the CardioPerfect software. Find and highlight your patient's name. And in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, under the heading Type, Date and Time, you'll see the ABP icon and the date and time when the test was set up. Click on the date and time and your screen will display a Read Measurements box. Click on that. It communicates with the device and the screen will then display a message which says ambulatory blood pressure measurements read back. If the patient's number and name are correct, it also tells you how many measurements have been taken during the 24 hours. Click OK. A download of 24 hours worth of data takes approximately 10 seconds and once it's downloaded the unit memory is cleared and it's ready for the next patient. You can view the results in many different formats by going into the software and selecting the tabs at the top of the screen. For example, the Trends tab will show you a graph of the entire 24 hours and the Summary tab will give you the whole test average for systolic and diastolic readings. Any of these reports can be saved as a PDF file for attaching to your patient record system. And finally, don't forget to take the batteries out of your unit once you've downloaded the results. That's the end of this Welsh Allen ABPM training session. Thank you for watching.